Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we are going to be talking about this winter coming up in 2020 and how you can profit from it using CSGO investing. This video was actually planned for a later release in the year. However, because TDM Jesus had recently made a video on this kind of topic, I wanted to go ahead and talk about it more in depth because it is a video that I think is relevant to talk about as it is going to be a feature for the market for CSGO that you can actually take advantage of coming up pretty soon. Let's take one quick look at the sponsor and then we'll go ahead and move on to this video topic. sponsor for today's video is Skinport.com. Skinport.com is a website that you can use to buy CSGO skins at very low prices. There's going to be a huge variety of skins on there and you're going to be able to buy them at prices that allow you to make a lot more profit if you're using them to invest. So they're a really good option to use for that purpose. I really like their sites and I've been using them for a long time now and I really do support them as they have supported me. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out Skinport, be sure to use the link in the description below and I hope to see you there. Alright guys, time to talk about today's video topic. So if you saw on the CSGO market over the past couple months or so, there was a huge downturn on the market and there wasn't really a lot of great stuff happening for CSGO skins. People that were really investing in those high tier rares that aren't really affected too much by market movements and are pretty inelastic were the only people that weren't really affected too much by the price drops, but there were price drops for a lot of things, especially some of the stickers that had recently been manipulated to be really high in price. This is really a thing that happens pretty much every year around this time. There's usually a decline in the market, but I think one of the things that influenced this decline a lot more was the fact that people were kind of reopening from in a lot of countries and weren't really stuck at home as much as they were in the previous months before that so there was kind of a downturn that could have been caused a lot by that or exacerbated by it and there was some other factors that you could also bring up as well including CSGO's sort of downturn in their player base which has been pretty major if you watch TDM Zeus's video on this kind of same topic and that downturn that you saw on the marketplace could have a lot been caused by that fact as well However, I think that it was kind of a combination of multiple factors and maybe it wasn't just one or the other. Another possibility is, of course, the fact that there could have been just a lack of updates that was causing people to not really have a lot of interest in skins, but really it's impossible to tell for sure what exactly happened. And I do think it is, like I said, a big combination of factors. So now that we've explained that, let's move on to the upcoming few months and why the CSGO market is probably going to do very well. Okay, so winter time has classically been a really good time for the CSGO marketplace and for digital marketplaces in general, even with Roblox. Roblox is a really really major example of this and is a much larger riser than other digital marketplaces because there are a larger amount of kids on Roblox and therefore they have a larger amount of money to spend on virtual items as a general population. So that's why Roblox does really really well around this time. So if you are invested into Roblox items, I would definitely say that that's a great time to get into it. I mean, obviously that's a whole different thing, but that is something to kind of model what is going to happen with CSGO as well. And I've talked about this in the past, I made a video as well, kind of on this exact same topic last year and kind of some stuff to watch for investments for upcoming Christmas time, because as of the spirit of Christmas, there are going to be more kids with money and more adults with money due to Christmas bonuses and things like that. So as a whole, stuff like the CSGO marketplace and other digital marketplaces for games tend to really have a nice rise around this time, and especially going into January and February, those are really good months for the CSGO market as well. And really, there's not a whole lot to talk about other than that. I mean, this is just classically a really good time for the CSGO marketplace, and it does follow a downturn like we saw recently, and I kind of think that TDMA Zeus kind of made it seem like this was going to be a much bigger year than other years. However, I personally think that it's going to be a little bit more mediocre and just kind of as average as it usually is, so that's what I would kind of think, but, you know, anything could really happen. I would really say to make sure that you are getting in on this because it is a great time to flip items, especially because the downturn precedes this, which means right now especially you have a really good opportunity to buy some items and get a good stock of items that you can flip for profit upcoming around the Christmas time when people are buying into those skins. All right, with that out of the way, that's pretty much the whole thing explained. Let's go ahead now and talk about more in-depth investments and some of the ones that I would watch out for personally if I were you. All right, so starting off, we're going to have demand items. Demand items are going to be your best friend during this winter time, and it's going to mainly be because demand items are so highly desired by the larger population of CSGO. So that means when people are really flooding money into it and buying those really nice play skins, those demand items are really going to be a great thing to see rises on. They are going to not see as large of rises as some of the other items could possibly see, just because they are so high in volume and have so many trades. However, there is still going to be a large rise in them as a whole if you kind of buy them across the board, and they're also a very safe item to buy into during the winter time. 
So the big demand items, of course, are going to be stuff like the AK Redline, the Op Asimov, the USB Kill Confirmed, the M4A4 Desolate Space, pretty much everything that people really like and really use as playskins, especially ones that are a little bit on the cheaper side, so people can buy them at a higher rate with lower amounts of money. So that's probably going to be the best thing to buy into. I know TJ Mezus mentioned the Kumicho Dragon. I think that's a great option as well, too, and I do think it is a good option going into this. However, really, any high-demand item that people really like or is good in slots for that weapon itself is going to be a good one to buy into. Another thing to watch out for is going to be cases. Cases classically see an upturn as well, as people are going to be buying cases just because it's kind of a fun thing to gamble $20 Steam cards on or whatever it might be. So that's kind of a popular thing as well around the Christmas time. And I do think a lot of cases are going to see upturns as well, especially ones that people can buy a lot of for cheap and buy keys so that they're, you know, not spending too much on cases and to the point where they're not going to be able to buy keys for the cases. So stuff like the Shadow Case, stuff that's kind of a lot cheaper in terms of the cases themselves are going to be good options. The Fracture Case will probably see some sort of weird flip up in price just because it's the newest case, but I do think it's probably just going to be a little flip floppy. There also might be a new case around Christmas time that will take the place of that Fracture Case as the newest case and as the popular one, so that could happen as well too. As for more expensive items, I would definitely be looking towards those very high demand and very good looking knives that people would probably be able to spend a lot on. So for example, stuff like the Bayonet Tiger Tooth, that sort of range of prices is going to be the one to look out for because that's going to be the really high demand knives that people really enjoy and those really high tier skins that people really like kind of look after trying to get during the entire year as they play CSGO. Another thing to potentially look out for is going to be stickers and stickered items. I think those are going to be pretty popular as well coming up as there are a lot of people in the item community that are more interested in those as they have been in previous previous years, so I think those could potentially see an upturn as well, however that's one of the more risky ones that isn't as guaranteed. Speaking of guaranteed, this is obviously a really safe event, this kind of does happen across the board pretty much every year, so it's something to look out for and it's definitely something that you want to get in on, and it's not obviously going to be 100% safe like anything is, but it is one of those things you can count on a lot more than possibly like the summer sale, as obviously in recent years the summer sale hasn't been as good, but the winter sale will probably still be really good as this is kind of just something that always happens around Christmas because people have been playing CSGO all year, seeing all these nice skins that they don't really have the funds for, but then they can eventually buy them around Christmas. Other than that, there isn't really a whole lot more to say. I'm not going to ramble just for video length, but I do want to say that if you are looking to invest for this winter sale and you are looking to take advantage of this endeavor, that you probably should buy into stuff right now as we are in the market downturn and stuff is going to be cheaper than it is probably a little bit later in the few next coming months. So if you do want to buy into stuff for this investing sale, do it right now, and that's basically going to be my best advice that I can give you on that. Other than that, again, not really much more to say. Not going to waste time. Thanks, guys, for watching, and if you want to go ahead and check out Skimports, my Discord server, and my Twitter account, those are all going to be linked in the description below. Thank you guys for checking those out. They're really great communities to go and be part of, and if you guys really want to make it big this investing time, you are going to want to use Skimports for those best prices and for the bigger investing margins. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.